Hi Floss Tube friends, it's Lorraine with Rags to Stitches USA. Today is Tuesday, January 15th. It has been a minute since I was on the last time. I've had, um, you know, the holidays and the new year and the holidays just kind of, they kind of whooped me this year. So I had a lot of things planned to do for the holidays that didn't get done. A lot of things that I wanted to get sent out that didn't get sent. I apologize to those of you that um, had hoped to be receiving something from me. Um, most things did not get sent, and I do apologize for that. I got some lovely gifts over the holidays, and they truly blessed me. So thank you to all of you that um, sent me some cards and sweet gifts. I really do appreciate that. I'm looking forward to um, a new year, a new season. Um, I've also had some issues with my recording device. My personal phone is, the storage is full. I can't, I can hardly even make a picture, much less a video. My son had given me his old phone to record videos on, but the screen was cracked. And so with each video, it seems like the cracks get bigger and, and they multiply. So the last video that I made took me forever to upload it because it just would not read my fingerprint because of all the cracks. And now I can't even use it at all. So over the holidays, I was in my mom's apartment cleaning out some things and I ran across her phone. Um, I mean, I, I knew where it was, but I'd just kind of forgotten that it was in there. It's actually my brother's phone that he had been letting her use. And it's an iPhone, um, an older iPhone, but I thought, I need to give this back to him, but maybe I can record a video first. <laughs> so I'm sneaking in a quick video before, actually I don't think he needs it right now, so I may get a few videos out of it before I have to return it to him. So unfortunately though, I can only record 15 minutes on this phone and I'm already two minutes into it, so I'm just gonna jump right in. Um, Farm Girl um, has, you know, now that I want to talk about it, I can't think of the name, what it's called, Stitch 9 Challenge or something. I think it's called Stitch 9 Challenge. Um, I will try to put a description below and link, link it below in the description. I'm not very good at that, but I will try. Um, so I thought I would show you the nine things that I am going to try to work on to completion this year. That's a big thing for me. I like to work on a lot of things, but I don't always get a lot of things completed. <laughs> so I will show you in no particular order some things, some nine things that I am going to commit to working on this year. Some of them are older whips, some of them are not, but they're small. So I want, I didn't want to put nine big, y'all know how I like big things. So I didn't want to put nine big things in there that I wouldn't possibly finish. But anyway, here we go. So the first one is from Country Cottage Needleworks, wonderful time of the year. I know y'all have seen that one. I have just a little start on it, but it's kind of small, so it shouldn't take too long to work on that one. Um, I don't have a whole lot of smalls, but, and even though it's not Christmas, I'm still gonna work on it. it. I may wait until later on in the year to work on this, but this is one of my nine. I said they're in no particular order. So that is one. Sorry about that. The second one y'all have seen in my videos many times. And I think the last time I showed this, I said, I'm gonna work on this this weekend and get it finished. Well, I didn't. Um, I don't even think I worked on it at all since I last showed it in my video. It is Summer School House by Brenda Gervais. This is just the first one. I do want to do all of them. But for the time being, I'm gonna concentrate on getting this one done. And this is where I am on that. Not a whole lot left to do. And it really is fun. It's just, um, since I'm stitching over one, I have to be in a place with um, good lighting and a place where I can use my magnifier um, and I'm not always stitching in places where I can do that. So anyway, that is number two. 
Number three is a chart that um, Susan Richardson, who owned a cross stitch shop in Marietta, Georgia, um, designed this chart um, before she passed away. Um, golly, she, she, she may have passed away a year and a half ago or so. I can't remember, but she had designed this chart before she passed away. And um, since her death, her chart has been published. Can't tell. In all things, be exceedingly diligent. I love, I love it that it's from Susan. I love the fact that it's a horizontal chart. I just love that. And so I've started on that one. This is on, hmm, I want to say it's 32 count raw linen. I'm not positive about that. I know I'm, I'm stitching two over two. I'm not, I really prefer to stitch with one floss, one strand of floss because um, I didn't know about railroading until floss tube. And so that's something it's taking me a while to get in the habit of doing because I want my stitches, now that I know about it, I want my stitches to look as neat as I possibly can, but it's, to me, it's, it's much slower. Um, and so it's something I really have to be conscious of doing. So I prefer to stitch with one, but I want to say this is um, uh, 32 count. Yes, it is 32 count. So anyway, that's due diligence from Susan. Um, here's one that I started. Mm, I, it may have been, I don't know when I started this one. Pumpkin Spice Farm, my hands-on design. Cute little pillow. Very little start, but it's a start. I don't know what I'm stitching this on. It was a piece of, uh, just a scrap piece of fabric that I had. I don't even, I can't even tell you the count, but, um, Anyway, that one is Pumpkin Spice Farm. Okay, the next one, we moved into our house um, about seven years ago. And um, I don't know, a year or so later, I was trying to look through some boxes to find some of my cross-stitch things. And I ran across this sampler that I had started, but the chart wasn't with it. And I have looked for five years for this chart and never could find it. And I didn't even know the name of the chart. So I put out a, an SOS, I think on Facebook somewhere. And um, Sweet Beverly texted me back. She knew, not only did she know the name of the chart, but she had the chart and she was willing to send it to me from Canada, bless her. And so now I have the chart, it's, Sarah Monday sampler from Threads of Gold. Um, this is my little working copy here. It's it's a it's a horrible picture. I know you probably can't see a lot. It looks very faded. And y'all, my sam this this sampler has been folded up in a box for many years, and it's got a stain, a big old stain on it over here. See that lovely stain? But I was stitching this all in DMCs, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to wash that and get that stain out. But this is how far I've gotten on it. So it's not a it's not a piddly little start. I, I'm probably halfway finished, maybe, with that. I've still got the bottom half to go. So I'll show you again. I've done most of the words, so now I'm down to the motifs. So this, I probably started, oh mercy, I don't know when I started this, a decade or more ago, I know. So this may be one of my oldest whips. So I'm anxious to, to get that, I haven't touched it, I haven't sewn a single stitch since Beverly sent this to me, so I'm anxious to get started back on that. Another moldy oldie um, is this folk art sampler by Mad 
Is it imaginating? Yes. And the date on the sampler is 2007. So it's not, I don't think, it, this is not nearly as old a whip as, as the um, Sarah Monday. But I had, I had this chart and then I uh, found this chart in a thrift store not long ago. And it had, um, it seemed like it had the flosses with it. So I gave that away in one of my previous videos. And Marie is going to be stitching this as well. Now, I don't know when Marie is going to be starting this. So Marie, if you're going to be doing this anytime soon, let me know. We'll do a little stitch along. But um, I have a very meager start on it. But it's an old start. And so I'm interested in getting going on that again. Um, you know, my last, my, um, my journey piece that I did, the Perman piece that was all in the blues, that was my car project. Um, I loved having a monochromatic piece that I could just take and pick up and just stitch and don't have to worry about, you know, what color I was working on. So I'm going to enjoy having another monochromatic piece to work on. So that's, that's one reason I'm kind of excited to be doing that one. So that one is number six. I don't, haven't been counting these as I go, but I think that's number six. Uh, number seven is Brenda Gervais. I think I could stitch everything Brenda Gervais. I just love her. Faith of the Heart. This is where I am on that. I just love this one. I think it's so pretty. This is, I think this is 30, uh, maybe 35, 36 count, um, r and R Espresso, and I'm stitching one over two on that. I just think it's so pretty. So that one, um, this one I'm probably going to, this one in Susan's chart, I will probably try to finish first. So that is number seven. Number eight is actually a quilt. Um, well, her name just fell out of my head. Farm Girl. Um, God, I'm so sorry. I can't even, your name is just falling out of my head. Said that we could do quilts if we wanted. And I do have to do a quilt um, for work, for a shop sample. And so this is the fabric that I'm going to be using. I don't have the... I don't have the pattern up here, but it's just going to be a simple turning 20. For those of you that are quilters, you, turning 20 is a very basic quilt, but it's really pretty. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using. And um, I'll be getting this one done uh, before mid-March. So that is number eight. And then, oh, the fabric that I'm using there is... Um, it's a Riley Blake fabric. I think it's called Penny Rose. I think that's it. All right, and number nine is um, hands-on de design, the um, celebrations. I know y'all have seen these everywhere. And I have finished January. And I have finished February. I've got it just lapped around a, um, a coaster. Just, it's not even on there straight, but anyway, I was just kind of getting an idea of what it was going to look like when it got finished. So that's February. So I will be finishing all 12 months of the, of the hands-on design celebrations. And, but that's just counting as one piece. So I am at 14 minutes. I got it all in. It's so good to spend some time with you again. I look forward to seeing you again soon. And um, I think that's it. Talk to you soon.